Hey guys, what's up, it's Iflin here, and I just completely leveled up all of my kit guns, and I got max strength arcanes for both of them, and today I just wanted to talk about them just a little bit, simple because I covered all the other weapons that came with the Fortune update, and now I wanted to cover the two kit guns that I bought from the kit gun trader guy in Fortuna. So these aren't custom made kit guns. They were the daily specials that they had on just a couple of days after Fortuna came out. They were two pretty good ones and I thought that I would snag them up just to put all the forma on them and then get those max rank arcanes on and kind of demonstrate them. So these are by no means the ideal kit guns but there is a lot of like personal preference that comes into crafting your own kit gun. So it just kind of depends on you know, if you want a status or a crit kit gun, or if you want a hybrid, if you want one with a larger magazine size or a higher, uh, you know, a reload speed, a better reload speed, sorry. So, you know, there's a lot of personal opinion that comes into play. So there's not going to be one uh, glove fits all type of thing or one shoe fits all, whatever the saying is. So it's really down to you which parts you use to craft the uh, kit gun. That being said, I will be going over the parts that I use in this video for the two kit guns that I'm going to show. So the first one is called I Bought This Smile Face. Now that's a Twitch chat meme. Tried to fit in smiley face, but um, wouldn't let me. So smile face it is. And this is made out of the Love Tap Grip, the Tomb Finger Chamber, and the Splat Loader. So it fires a little bit like this. You know, you got a little bit of kick to it, and it's just like a ball of, like, plasma, base radiation damage. Pretty deadly, right? You pair this with the likes of Arcane Velocity, you can pull the trigger really, really fast. So this is me kind of just pushing down my, uh, my left click as fast as possible. You can kind of speed up how much you shoot or how much you can shoot within a shorter period of time by using the likes of Fire Rate Mods or Arcane Velocity, right? So... Arcane Velocity works really, really well with it, in my opinion at least. You don't necessarily need it, but uh, it's really down to personal preference, of course. So, moving on from that, we have my other kick gun, not the uh, the laser one, but we have the Wop Cannon. And this is made up of the Love Tap Grip, the Catchman Chamber, and then the Splat Loader. So, more or less the same, we just change up the chamber. And what that does is it changes the firing mode, right? So... Instead of being a little ball of plasma, it's now more like an arc of plasma shot, right? So there you go. You see the the bigger balls or the bigger weaves of plasma. It's actually heat damage that comes out of this thing. And again, semi-automatic. So you just kind of fire it as fast as you pull the trigger. And then if you use fire rate mods or arcane velocity, you can press it a little bit faster and then more shots come out. So with that being said... The builds for both of these are the exact same. So if I show you a build for the Wop Cannon, it's the exact same on the I Bought the Smile Face, right? So let's go ahead and take a look. So I built these mainly for crit. You can build hybrid if you like because we have a pretty decent status chance, but I didn't feel the need to. But uh, let's go ahead and go over the base stats of both of them first. So for the Wop Cannon, the Wop Cannon, we have a critical chance of 35%, crit multiplier of 2.3, a fall off of 20 to 40 meters, fire rate of 1.50, magazine size of 11, we got a reload speed of 1.7, Riven Dispo of 3, Rivens for these are really deadly, status chance of 13%, semi-automatic trigger, base heat damage, and impact damage. So, will this one really 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 good if you build it for gas because you have that base heat damage on there use through on uh pathogen rounds you have gas damage so those corpus enemies or anything that doesn't have any armor or just has shields it's gonna die really quickly with gas damage so i'll demonstrate that in this video and then moving on to the i bought the smile face we have a critical chance off 38%, really, really high. Critical multiplier of 2.3, fire rate of 2.50, magazine size of 23, reload speed of 1.7, Riven Dispo of 3, status chance of 16%, semi automatic trigger, 17 puncture damage, 24 impact damage, and a 91 radiation damage. Also, really, really good. Now, which one you go for, it kind of depends on your playstyle and uh, what you want to do. So, I like this one simply for destroying the ships in the likes of Planes of Eidolon or in the Orb Valis, right? Because I can just mod this for radiation damage or cruise of radiation damage, armored enemies, ships, etc. 
they die extremely fast, especially whenever my Arcane Velocity procs kick in. Now, I'm not going to use Arcane Velocity whenever I first show the testing because I want to, you know, show you guys it without uh, obviously anything affecting. I'm going to take off the Arcane as well. I will demonstrate the Arcane in this video too. Um, but, you know, these weapons are very, very deadly given you use them within the right uh, circumstances, right? Because you have Puncture and Impact on there. There's no Slash, so there's no Slash procs, which is going to damage enemies behind their armor or anything. You have to kind of be matching the armor type. So, like, let's say you wanted to kill alloyed armor enemies. You'd have to, you know, use Radiation Damage because you get the bonus 75% damage. So making sure that you know what you're doing, which enemies you're going to be going up against, is pretty crucial with these kickdowns. Because if you're modding them wrong, you're using the wrong elements, your damage is going to tank. And that's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth whenever it comes to these kick guns and any other kick gun that you craft, right? You might just say, oh, it's not worth it. But you have to know what you're doing with these to make them, like, really, I guess, perform, right? Versus lower level enemies, these are going to, like, work just fine. They're just going to obliterate. But whenever you start going up into the higher levels, using the correct elements is crucial. But then again, you could say that for pretty much any weapon in the game anyway. So, yeah. So, crit build... You can pretty much mimic all of this and change out this mod right here. Primed Expel Corrupted. You don't need to use Primed Expel mods. You can use Augur Pact. You can use Hydrella Crosshairs. It's really down to you, uh, depending on where you are as a player. You can even use a third element. So just go ahead, take that off, move that over here. And then let's say we're modding versus Ferret Armored Enemies, Corrupted Heavy Gunners. We'd go Crucive plus Fire Damage. So we just threw on Primed Heated Charge. And there you go. We have our Crucive and we have our Fire Damage on there, which is going to give us 100% damage bonus versus those Corrupted Heavy Gunners, right? But I like using my uh, Expel Corrupted. Simple because flat 55% damage increase versus every single enemy in the faction. What's not the like about it? And then also on top of that, you have the likes of, you know, our gas build, which I'm going to show, which is absolutely crazy. <sighs> like these expel mods, those gas procs are whoa. Just, just whoa is the only way I can explain them. So I'm going to demonstrate the I bought this Malpheus versus level 110 corrupted heavy gunners first like it doesn't really matter which enemies i show you guys because it's gonna obliterate but um level 110 because these are the highest level enemies you're gonna find versus uh just your casual daily content right so if you're playing sortie level content you're not kind of doing anything uh in the likes of an endurance run these are the types of enemies that you're gonna find right you want to be aiming for the head and yes, these enemies are paused. You do not get any damage bonus versus paused enemies. That is only for your melee. Okay, just I feel the need to say that every single like weapon video I make now. But yeah. Couple shots and he's dead. Crazy, right? You strip away the armor. They're gone. About four shots. One, two, three, four. Five. Four or five shots. One, two, three. Depends if you get those Crucif procs off, right? You get those Crucif procs off early, they're going to die a lot faster. So that was four that time. We hit an enemy behind them as well. Three shots. So you have a little bit of an AoE splash with these as well. So that's something to keep in mind too. Which is really, really helpful whenever it comes to taking down groups of enemies, right? So we just killed all those, all those guys really, really fast. So you can use things like Arcane Velocity to speed up your DPS, right? We're going to use the exact same build on the Buop Cannon. And I'm going to make sure to take off my Pax Arcane. My Pax Arcanes are things that you get from the vendor who also sells you the, what's it called? The kit guns, right? Or the parts for the kit guns. So make sure that you pick those up as well and also just pick a few of them up to sell to other players because they sell for around 30 to 40 platinum right now which is also really good so the blob cannon is going to go through multiple enemies and uh yeah just watch and learn i guess aim for the head of course and look how many enemies it kills just with a few shots now you'll notice with this one it actually has a low ammo capacity right so you can run out of ammo really really fast with this but if you're using this in the likes of a defense or survival mission, which is what I would be using it in, or even just a rescue mission, capture mission, etc., those types of missions, you're not going to be running out of ammo anyway. And then in defense and survival, there's going to be enough enemies spawning in so you can get your ammo back, right? So 
not that big of a deal. And if you are having ammo with uh, economy issues, then use Carrier Prime. Carrier Prime has a little mod for it, which is going to mute your ammo for the weapon that you're using, which is really, really helpful. And again, like if you're going to be taking this into the likes of an endurance run, which I can recommend because these weapons are killer, then um, you know you're gonna you're gonna want to have ammo because these are really, really, really nice. So let's just go ahead and kill the rest of these guys. Just by, uh, actually, I do have Arcane Velocity on. Hmm. Who would have guessed? But, yeah, you can kind of see the effects of Arcane Velocity picking up now. Kind of a DPS increase. Let's go ahead and swap the Mesa. And you can see, uh, two times Arcane Velocity. Because, why not, actually? So, here we go. Two times Arcane Velocity equipped. There you are. And what's going to happen is these guys are going to die extremely fast. Because your fire rate is going to be increased by a lot. So you just kind of melt through these guys at this point. Because you can shoot way faster. Just spam your left click. And they're all dead. So let's go ahead and swap back to... I bought the smile face and we'll do the exact same thing with the 2 times arcane velocity. And they'll die super fast. Again. So, here we go. It's just like... A laser beam from like a movie I guess I don't know how I would really explain it but that's kind of what it sounds like or feels like whenever I'm using it you strip away that armor those guys die extremely fast and versus the the ships and stuff that spawn in and planes of idol on just kind of pew them and they die extremely quick so the other thing that I want to show you guys is also the gas bills right Let's go, to, uh, go ahead and unequip that arc in there. So the gas builds versus corpus enemies, right? So you have your expel mod on there, which is going to triple dip. I have a video explaining how, what's it called, expel mods and beam mods work. I'll have it linked in the description below. But versus the corpus enemies, ones who don't have like armor and just have shields, gas damage is absolutely killer, especially with these weapons. Now, it's probably not the best idea to show this off if I bought this smile face, but just so you can get an idea... We're going to shit these guys a few times, and what's going to happen is a gas proc is going to happen. And these gas procs are going to absolutely shred surrounding enemies, right? So whenever we get a gas proc off, look at that damage over time, right? 5k damage per tick. Crazy, right? So with the Bwop Cannon, because with that weapon, you're going to have about 10k gas damage. And the fact that it's AoE to begin with, you can spam it really, really fast. You're going to shred through these corpus enemies, right? So they all die extremely fast. So go ahead and just spam the trigger. And they die really, really quick. Just like in a magazine. You can kill the entire group of enemies and just like gas procs and stuff do the work. So extremely quick killing weapon. Oh, he didn't die. There we go. Finishing touch, why not? So let's go ahead and test out the Bwop Cannon with the exact same build. It's just modded for gas damage, and we change up the Primed Expel mod for Primed Expel Corpus, right? So, move on to the Bwop Cannon. Doo -doo. Here we go. Oh, that was weird. Unequip the Archean. Spawn in the Mans. Go ahead, hop on over. And... What? What? Insane, right? Crazy. It's almost as if it deals like 27k gas procs. Mental. Absolutely insane. And one shot in level 110. Oh, look at that. And they're all gonna die. Okay, these guys didn't get the uh, gas proc. But whatever those gas procs kick in, absolutely killer, dude. Insanely deadly. And this isn't even using any warframe or anything to buff up you know the damage that it deals right this is just relying solely on well i guess arcane velocity but not really arcane velocity doesn't really buff up your damage it more buffs up your dps right because it's you spam your trigger okay but um take it slow with your shots and then it's it's more or less the same but there you go gas procs kicking in man's dying extremely fast so there's that and there's also the Archeans, right? So there's two Archeans 
that I recommend picking up. There is Seeker, which is going to be 100% chance for four projectiles to burst out from a target and seek the heads of nearby enemies. Now, this is really, really cool, and I'm probably better to show this off on the likes of uh, the... I bought this Malpheus because it's more accurate. And we'll do that versus Heavy Gunners as well. So here we go, Seeker. And spawn in the Heavy Gunner Man. Uh, that's a G. There we go. Oop, here we go. Awesome. So you'll notice that whenever I get a headshot, there's going to be these little projectiles that fly out. Kind of like a Phantasma. Like the ult fire. And then um, they're going to seek our enemies. So there you go. They deal some pretty hefty damage. And... Those are actually going to be affected by any buffs that you have active. So if you're playing Mirage or Chroma or Rhino, and you're using a damage buff of any kind, those little projectiles are going to be buffed up as well and deal insane damage. And they also apply slash procs. That man died through his armor. Crazy. So if you get lucky enough to apply a slash proc, which, there you go again, you know, I'm assuming is also affected by the status chance equipped on your kick gun then you can deal some pretty nasty damage with those projectiles. So the Seeker uh, Archean is definitely 110% worth picking up, in my opinion, if you're just going for raw damage. The other Archean is a little bit more um, if you want it kind of thing. I would recommend using it in an Endurance run, for example, if you're playing the likes of Saren. But what that one does, if we go ahead and we check it out, it's going to increase the power strength of your Warframe as well as the efficiency, right? If you cast within the space of 4 seconds. So you have 50% chance for 30% ability efficiency and ability strength on the next ability used within 4 seconds. I think that window is a little bit small, but if you can get it off and you're using the likes of Saren with your Spores or your Miasma or a buff in Warframe or whatever, then you can get a pretty hefty strength increase there, right? So let's say, for example... My Mace's second ability, I wonder what type of damage buff it gives. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Actually, probably a better way to demonstrate it would be with Mirage. Let's just go ahead and use Mirage. Whoop, here we go. So with Mirage, 493% Eclipse buff, right? We go ahead and we remove it. And let's see if we can go ahead and get our thing to proc. So we're looking for our... Pax, uh, Pax Bolt Arkin to proc. 50% chance for it to proc, by the way. So this may take a few kills. None there. It has to be a headshot kill. Keep that in mind. Can't be a proc kill. So if you're using the likes of gas damage, it's not going to proc. You have to get the headshot kill. So there you go, 553%. So you get a crazy buff to your ability strength, which is awesome. And it also costs less to cast. So really, really good. And this is, of course, the damage of uh, my I bought the Smalfius with uh, Pax Bolt affected Eclipse buff, right? So cool, awesome. Man's die extremely fast. Pax Bolt is a really good arcane. So is Pax Seeker. Let's just go crazy with it. Let's use Mirage. Let's use uh, Pax Seeker. And uh, use all of Mirage's buff and just murder these uh, heavy gunners, right? One free, 493% buff. Headshots only. Look at that. Those mans are dead. Craziness, right? Headshot. Dead. Headshot. Everything is dead. Awesome. So once you start using your Warframe abilities, nothing is going to be able to stand in your way. It's absolutely crazy. Now let's do the exact same thing with the Blob Cannon versus the Corpus, and you'll see how fast these guys get shredded, right? So our techs, right? And I need to equip on uh, our packs, whatever it is. Doo -doo Seeker. You can't get a headshot multiplier, but you st still can get headshots, right? So it registers as a headshot. You just don't get the multiplicative bonus from the headshot that you're getting, right? It's not going to increase the damage. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, spawn in the mans. Corpus tech. Simulate. One free. 
and crazy numbers right absolutely insane numbers you can do the exact same with rhino you can do the exact same with chroma do it with mirage any buffing frame even Saren's free crazy damage dude i recommend picking up kick guns i'll have videos out about better kick guns in beginner guides which is coming next year every single tuesday and also in the coming month of december because i have a lot better in-depth fortuna guides coming up next month i just wanted to kind of get a little bit of more like let's just talk about some cool new stuff videos out so uh yeah Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead, hit that like button below. If you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.